I wanted y'all to see today before we get started just how stacked and piled high the bins here in Nashville is. I like this. I like coming here and seeing bins that uh, you have to dig in. It is a little more difficult to dig in them. However, it just means that there is more stock in today and that they're sort of rushing to get some sort of quota amount out, uh, basically. It just means there's more stuff coming out of the back. That's what, that's what these piled high bins mean. If you come in and the bins have minimal stuff in them, you're gonna sort of find that uh, there's not gonna be a lot of stuff coming out. So it's a good start. It's a lot to dig through. And there's a beaver. What the heck is this? Anyways, I found a uh, flying purple people leader. I see not one, but two Power Rangers activity books. Uh, both of them pretty well scribbled in, which is not really a problem because we're worried. See, that one's been colored. The right colors, but, it, but it's been colored. Those are going on the Power Rangers show. Two of them, though. And a giant googly eye. Just one though, but that's okay, we'll buy it. You never know when you'll need to make a giant googly one-eyed monster. I've already looked this plush up. Uh, the last one sold for $22 and it weighs not very much. So it would not be hard to get out of here with. And it is weird enough I should probably get. I don't know, we haven't decided. And this is just glorified nonsense for the shop walls. I have to have it, I, don't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't help myself. Also so far, not a lot of digging at all. I've been here like five minutes. A big keen frisbee. They just make footwear, but it is just an uh, ultimate frisbee size frisbee, but on the lighter end, and it looks like it'll be fun to throw. These are recycled materials for guitar picks. A single blank canvas. And I don't know what the heck this dude is. Comment below if you know, but he's just a stretchy shark, sort of stretch arm strong type thing. Ritz can. I don't think I'm gonna get this, but I need to look it up. It's a Build-A-Bear reindeer, but it's not even like Rudolph or nothing. We're gonna look it up. The internet in here, the cell service sucks. Listed for $15 with like Santa pants on. Okay, never mind. I didn't think, you know. I had higher hopes for this. There's one listed for like a hundred bucks. Obviously that's dumb. Last one sold for 20. It's so weird. It's not even Harry Potter related. I'm actually having a hard time uh, finding materials to recycle for guitar picks. Something sort of at the top of the list I wanted to, to mess with today, but all I've found so far are like folders. I want a big like placemat or something to make a thousand guitar picks out of. That's what I want to leave with. I mean, I'd like to leave with some cool stuff to sell, but hey, if nothing else, we're leaving with the tiki mask. Also, I'm wearing a hat that I bought here the last time I was here, so I like it. Don't, the, the camera's watching you. I'm putting that on YouTube. <laughs> she said good. Oh, no Pokemon card left behind. Also, a deck of cards, lightly used. Little one hand cut action there. I have never seen a Nerf gun where you can just sort of store the balls, the rival balls like that. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but. Interesting. Never seen it. What did I see? I saw a hat with a patch on it. Martin's Barbecue Joint. Too random for me to buy just for the patch. I don't really think I need it in my patch collection, but I'm just sort of digging through the book bins. And there's a teddy bear frame, and it's tiny. But since it's already red, I'm thinking about getting it, changing the artwork into something cool, hanging it in the shop. There's sort of a a theme running in my recent bins videos. I just want to decorate my shop with stuff. Like, look, let me show you something else I'd rather, I'd also like to get, but I'm probably not going to. Any sort of signage or cool artwork is something I'd like to get and put on the walls of my shop. I thought this would be cool because I saw it, it's yellow, and I thought it might be some branded thing, but it's not. World Prayer, uh, World Day of Prayer. Sure wish I could read. Reach in, reach out. We can change the world. So this was probably hanging, I think probably hung and spun or something in the church, something like that, because it obviously had two sides you want to see. Um, I've been thinking about getting this and just drilling the earth side into the wall, like that. Probably gonna happen. It's, it's a pound or two, 
It's worth two or three dollars. Two or three dollars? What should we put? Are we praying or are we? We're praying for the world. I think we're gonna do world upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a Depop listing if I've ever seen one. Lands in shirt. Color blocked all the way. This is actually something I'd love to wear if it were big enough. I think I've lost enough weight I can get it on, but all right, we're about to fool around and find out. There's no way. You think I can get it on? Yeah. If I suck it in. It ain't gonna be tall enough though. I mean, it no, it just the Spider-Man, but thank you. What? It fit, it just fits. Yeah. Unless you like a little bitter, but it's, you put an undershirt under there, it's cool. Yeah, let the... Yeah, it's a little, it makes me feel a little squeezed, but I'd love to find something like this that fits. I like it. It looks nice on me. The worker lady said it was nice. I found two pair of Tendo shades. And this is a mirror. I thought it was a picture frame, and I thought it might be cool to hang something weird in it. I doubt I get this because of its weight. Look how dirty it is. That's awful. It's cool, though. I sort of thought like it'd be cool to put, like, a custom artwork in it, like a presidential bear, or make Scooby-Doo the president. I don't know, something weird. Put it in there, but it's a mirror, not a frame. I want to imagine X figure. I've got a giant bag of these back at the shop. And at this point, I haven't really been able to sell them. That's a Ripski. I haven't really been able to sell them, but I'm sort of thinking about actually putting them on a shelf to display them, because I've got so many. I've got like 30 different Batmans. Exactly what I'm looking for. Fresh books, fresh books. Where are the comic books? Where are the comic books? All I want is comic books. Oops, sorry. Superman and Wonder Woman. Four. Ooh, you're the villain. Sorry. Green Lantern Corpse. I got a fat stack of comic books. Superior Iron Man. Yes. Vintage Jurassic Park book with screenshots from the movies. Kind of cool. Probably for somebody's Jurassic Park shelf. Unexpected art with the giant inflatable rubber duck on it. That is the photo I get tagged and sent in my DMs the most. Well, not the photo. Not that photo. A photo of the same duck. And actually, that sort of isn't worth framing. I don't know what is. I'd love to see that in person. I get sent in my DMs all the time. I don't know if I'm going to buy that book, but I did want to see it. Uh, Superior Iron Man, Green Lantern Corpse Riot, Year, Year of the Villain. And if you know comic books and see anything tasty, let me know. I'll look these up later. Uh, Superman, Wonder Woman. Nothing feels terribly special here. Civil War number two. I read these in high school. It's crazy it's been that long. Ultimate X-Men number 10. Brightest Day, some more Green Lanterns action, I guess. New Mutants. Avengers, very nice. What does that say? Gambit. Cool. Oh, and actually this is a series I collect. I have a bunch of these back at home. The only one I could see in this whole stack being maybe a little bit valuable or a little bit worth keeping would be this one. I've actually read this whole series. I collected it back in the day. Bottom from the money tree. 60 cents an issue. <laughs> Buy it now, six bucks. Hey, I mean, you know, it's not bad for a comic book. Actually, I'm such an idiot. I grabbed two comic books earlier that I didn't even look at. Forgot all about them. Not the same round at all. Here we go. Batman Cataclysm, which I've actually read. And then Two Tales of Wonder, The Adventures of Superman. These two feel a little better than what's in the rest of this stack. You gotta see how stacked high these bins are. I'm telling you, just all the way to the top. You gotta dig. Not finding much of this round, but it's stacked high. Let's wait till everyone's done and then dig. What'd you find? It has been a great day for Power Ranger books. Like, I've never seen this all at once. Three workbooks. I don't even know. I don't even remember what the other ones I got were. And then a coloring book. And then a magazine, which is really exciting, but the cover's missing. And honestly, I think that's just it. So it's actually got the movie Blue Ranger. Well, it's got Billy from the movie on it. 
and it's in pretty bad shape. It would be so killer if this were one of those lucky times where there's a poster inside. That is not the case, however, since this is a magazine that's in terrible condition, what's gonna happen here is there's no way I'm not buying this to tear it the rest of the way apart and make that page into a poster. Like I've already got some frames today. There's probably other pages with full art like that. Yes. Actually, it sort of is a poster. It's the center page. So if you cut that out, if you pull the rest out, that's a full spread poster of the movie guys. So that should be about 11 by 17. So we're gonna go ahead and consider that an 11 by 17 poster. We're gonna buy it and we're gonna dismantle it, defame it. And uh, we're not gonna care. We're not gonna feel bad. There's also a comic book inside. Sick. It's Power Ranger Day. Today was the ultimate Power Ranger haul. And I better keep looking because there's probably more. I'm feeling both a high and a low right now because that Power Ranger art print in that magazine is awesome and I really do want to frame it. But I'm feeling terrible because my earth is shattered. <laughs> You've shattered my world. I dropped it. And I can't find all the pieces. You know, your boy could puzzle it back together, but we're just, we're boned. So as cool as that was gonna be up on the shop wall, we're, we're gonna skip it because I'm a dumb, stupid piece of shit. But I'll tell you what would make up for it if we could find a, that's a cool pack of cards. It's probably recycled or something, eco edition uh, and Pokeball. If we could find a picture frame to fit that Power Rangers art, it'll make up for the Shattered Earth Captain America board game. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, gonna scan the bad boy. I doubt it's valuable. Even if it is, there's no way it's complete, but I've never seen a Captain America board game. Captain America. How many times did I say Captain America? Have I said Captain America the whole time? Maybe. It's Captain Planet. You can you can erase your comments. $15 for the cheapest one, so it's not wild, but man, I sort of want to get it. If, it. if it's easily verifiably all there, I think I have to own it. There's a lot here. Let's see what the board looks like. There's a wooden die in here, which is awesome. That checks out. But I don't, you know, for 15 bucks, I'm not gonna go sort through all this. Comment below, would you buy? Actually, comment below if you collect Captain Planet stuff, because that'd be a cool thing to collect. Not Captain America. Dummy. Breaking things, misnaming things, losing things. I have found a frame that will fit the Power Ranger art, but the problem is it is a little too tall, but it can still work. But the real problem is, is that the glass isn't glass, it's just plexi plastic that is really scratched up. I think we're still gonna get it. It's light enough, I'll make it work. Should probably paint the frame for a Power Ranger color. What do you think, yellow, red? Tough call but I think we got what we need. Are we rolling? We're rolling. It wasn't the best day for resale, though I got a little bit. Uh, the Power Ranger poster, as much as I do want to and will hang it in my shop, I'm sort of trying to put together a bunch of artwork framed, nice, pretty. You've probably noticed on the channel as of late, I've been doing a lot of that kind of thing. Uh, even these, unless they're somehow valuable, which I really doubt it, but I'll do my due diligence. I'm gonna end up with artwork in them. Uh, you ready? So close. Uh, oh wow, it's rolling. Yeah, so got a bunch more stuff to show off when we get back to the shop. I'm very sad about that planet Earth getting crushed, but at least we got one other weird thing for the wall. So bummed about it. I bought a lot of stuff to make recycled guitar picks out of too, so the day is not lost. That's guitar picks. That's actually a violin holder, which is cool. And all the Power Ranger books one could one could want. I thought we were done, but we're at the other Good Boy outlet in Nashville, the one I swear you should never go to. All right. Take two, we're actually gonna get some good stuff today. We're gonna look at every bin, make sure there ain't nothing 
Never stop. Oh, it's a Lego shield from the Lego movie. I like it. Never synced it. Large yarn. More canvas. All right. Tiny little acrylic clipboard. Frame with no glass, which is how we should buy them so we can get them a lot lighter. But I want the glass. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm just going to complain every time I find one. It's too heavy. It's just who I am as a person. Hey, hey, haven't found one of those in a while. That's some guitar pick material if I ever felt it. Oh, there's another one. All right, I'll take it. Wait, there's, wait, there's, there's a lot. There's like 20 of these. This is perfect guitar pick plastic, so we're gonna get all of them. I don't think anyone else is gonna be in a hurry for them though, so we'll come back around in a second. There's a bag for my stuff. There's the third Beyblade arena I've seen. I need a cart. Oh, Nerf darts. We'll take the Nerf darts. Probably one of the coolest finds that I found today. This is a Go board. It's a Japanese game that's sort of chess checkers like, sort of like a capture the area game. You try to surround your opponent's pieces. It's very cool, very complicated, very hard to play. And I sort of know how to play, though I'm not very good at it. I've never really been able to find anyone to play with. And I've always wanted a nice Go board. And this thing is super used, super antique, and super handmade. Uh, it's kind of amazing. Like you can tell the lines are drawn on. Best part is, is it's got some Japanese writing on the back and I translated it with Google Translate, which we didn't know you could use the Google app to do. And it's very handy. And so this was from a train station of some sort. Probably not gonna buy it. I'd really like to, but it's, uh, sorry about that, covered you up. It's not, uh, it's not worth, I'm not gonna play it. Unless one of you wanna teach me how to play. The shop has turned into a guitar pick making factory. My camera's crooked, 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 crooked. The shop has turned into a guitar pick making factory and uh, I've actually already done most of it. But see this, I don't even know what these were. Some sort of filing, paper filing, something or other. Anyways, what I've been doing is turning them into basically this and then we punch them out and then they turn into this mess right here, right? See all the guitar pick holes? And then they turn into this. Pretty stoked on it. This, this bucket's gonna be full soon and then I'm gonna have to switch it to a five gallon. And then uh, one day I'll fill a five gallon and then we'll move on to a 50 gallon drum. We are back at the shop. And as it stands right now, this is the best thing I've brought home in quite some time now. I mean, just look at it. I mean, it's so goofy. I really think this is a true Power Rangers relic because there's a couple things going on here, at least per my estimation. I think that the creators of this magazine designed this. They took some weird Power Rangers specific cartoon background art photoshopped or at least the 1990s version of Photoshop, whatever that was. Uh, Rotoscoping? No, I know it's not rotoscoping. Fun word. But they posted the movie Power Rangers on that cartoon artwork and it's just goofy. I don't, I would really doubt there's any other prints of this existing in the world outside of that magazine. So there's just something sort of weird that makes me want to have things like this. And this sort of puts a band-aid over a really sore spot deep in my soul. A friend of mine found this Power Rangers poster that was so much worse than this one at the Goodwill Bins one time. And I think I have a picture of it. I think all that survives of it is a picture because I accidentally threw it away when we moved, so, which means it'll never hang here in my walls. But what it was was a Power Rangers poster made for some sort of school convention thing. I don't, I don't even know exactly what, but they clearly printed it themselves and put the Power Rangers on it. So not unlike this, that poster doesn't exist too many places in the world. It's the weirdness I like having hanging in my shop. So by far, by and large, that is the coolest thing I brought home. Um, comment below, let me know what you think. Would you have tried to save this tattered up magazine that already had weird stuff cut out of it? Or would you have taken the poster out and hung it up? Some people feel differently. Some people like having that sort of magazine in their collection, which I understand. I, I own a lot of stuff like that. But um, 
I'm pretty much going to go ahead and trash this. I made sure there's no other artwork that could come out of it, uh, but it's cool. That poster, mm, it's going to hang in my shop forever. Now, let's talk about the rest of the stuff that I got. Uh, there's, 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 there's a lot to talk about, so we're going to do this one sitting down. Uh, first of all, Jurassic Park. Uh, welcome to Jurassic Park. It is JP. Look for this brand on all official Jurassic Park products. If not, Dra if it's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct. So, does anyone collect Jurassic Park stuff? If you do, come to my whatnot and buy this for a dollar. Because I didn't buy it for me. I knew so I, I knew it didn't need to go to the dump and get trashed. I knew we had to have it. Uh, I guess let's get the rest of the Power Rangers stuff out of the way since it's right here too. I have so much of this stuff, and I think at least this one, this will be a double for me and maybe even a couple of these other ones, but these are awesome. Uh, Honey Bear books. I definitely had some of these as a kid and now I collect them as an adult. They were probably at the dollar store or something like that back in the day, you know? But a few of these are colored in, but I've, I've never, I've never found this many Power Ranger books at once at the bins. A total of one, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty crazy. So. Some of these will go on my Power Ranger shelf. I'll probably bundle some of them and sell them. But I mean, what's better, lining the back of your shelves that the toys sit on than these kinds of books? So we'll just write Power Rangers up as fine of the day. Huge Power Rangers haul. Um, I guess I'll fly through these. Now I already showed you the comic books earlier. Nothing of value really, but at least a little happiness in that I'll probably keep this one Batman issue. Because as I've said, I, I don't collect comic books, but I have a lot of this run. Like, I could probably complete this particular run of comics because I have the rarest ones, including the multicolored first issues and in, in all colors. So it was cool to find. Uh, I'm happy enough for that. Let me see, this was weird. I don't know, Wildcats book. I, I really didn't want it, probably throw it in some sort of weird Marvel or comic book related bundle at some point. Two Rubik's Cubes today, one two by two which is Rubik's branded, somebody has to get on the internet and explain what this is to me and more importantly, how I can find a bigger one, right? Because it doesn't come apart, it goes like this. I cannot imagine that this thing can be solved. And if it can, well, I'm not the one to do it. So I've never seen snake Rubik's cubes. Very cool. Um, one Depop listing, probably $35 here, maybe $25 offer. You know, this kind of color blocking is just popular. That's really all there is to it. That was actually someone's go backs. Someone threw that back. And I was surprised because uh, it'll definitely sell. These were probably not worth buying. These flamed out shoes. And you guys didn't even see this on camera because this is when we were leaving the second bins. And uh, they're a little bit coming apart in the soles, but I'm gonna get some proper barge rubber, or not rubber cement, but contact cement, put them back together and uh, do something with them because they're crazy. Flamed out leather shoes. Depop, 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 Depop. Uh, what else? I, I got a lot of nonsense. Not one, but two things of googly eyes. One giant green googly eye and then a bunch of small ones. Uh, one of those throwing rings, which I've never thrown before. It's pretty cool, it flies far. And an ultimate Frisbee size Frisbee, though I don't think it's ultimate Frisbee specs because it feels really light. See if I can make it in my basket. Nope, threw it over. I looked this up and it was selling for $20. I don't remember exactly what it's from, but like it's a Indiana Jones dog bear, but it's from some random TV show. I don't know, it was random. Spider-Man toy for my nephew just because it's a really large one and it has a removable mask. Don't know much about that, but it's a cheap, it's a cheap, cheap toy. My nephew will like it, which brings me to the what I got. I went ahead and got this for my niece. I'll give my nephew the Spider-Man and my niece can have this monstrosity because she's into this kind of thing because she's a little weirdo. So that was good. This is one of those things, okay? I don't have a PO box right now, so I don't need to worry about this, though I am gonna open one. What happens a lot on this channel is when I buy random things in the PO box, you guys start sending them to me. I don't need anyone sending me playing cards. It's just, I like when I find them at the bins having one of every sort of color set from bicycle specifically. And this of course is a green recycled all from recycled materials. I'm just into it for the colors really. So I'll put that with the rest of my playing cards. I've got a shelf over here that I just like it, but I don't, I don't need more. 
I mean, I guess unless you find something really cool and unique, but I've, I find them plenty myself. Uh, leads me to the next thing. Two of these picture frames, which I haven't thought of what to put them in yet. There could be little bits of art I could cut out of that magazine and put in here and make little Power Ranger prints. That could be cool. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, a violin holder. I don't currently own a violin, but I own every other stringed instrument, so when that comes around. My 30th one of these, and I don't know if you can, I've got my camera tilted down, but I've got these lined all around my shop, uh, just above your current eye line. Flying Purple People Eater. I was hoping this would be valuable. Totally is not, but I've got weird BHS of my own, so I'll probably keep that with it. This is a weird one. I don't really know what to tell you about this. And this was like, this was a subconscious buy. Does anyone ever do that? You ever buy something and then get back and go, why did I do that? And then sort of realize why you did it, but then really judge yourself? Let me show you. Over here by my shop entrance, you'll see I have not one, but two acrylic clipboards. One of them has Scooby-Doo on it and the other one has Tweety Bird. This one doesn't even have anything on it. It's just acrylic. And I bet you I wouldn't have bought it if it was wooden or composite wood, you know what the regular ones are made out of? I bought it because it was acrylic. And I don't, I don't know why I did it. I really don't know why. But it's gonna hang right there. And I guess I collect acrylic clipboards now. I don't even use clipboards. I don't know why I did this. I don't have any idea. Uh, but let's get back to the rest of the stuff. That's almost everything. Let me just double check. Googly eyes. I did buy sort of shop materials, pens, and printing paper, you know what? If you guys haven't been watching my reels, not reels, Facebook shorts, reels is on Instagram. You should go check them out because I've been sort of leaving the hyper creative stuff I do on this channel to shorts right now and showing you guys on my shorts how I make stuff. I've been picking apart a lot of my printing strategies and how I buy stuff to do creative stuff. So I do need business cards because I'm going to more conventions and stuff like that coming up and I want to hand out things with my QR code or something. Totally gonna make them myself. It wouldn't be the Tindo channel if I went to Office Depot and had that stuff made. So, and then also photo paper. So I made a whole YouTube short explaining how I don't spend any money for my printing. I recycle ink, I buy my photo papers. And I think some people that don't know this channel would watch that short and be like, this guy does not buy all of his paper at the thrift store. You guys have no idea how much high quality, expensive printing paper shows up at the bins. I mean, this cart right here behind me is probably the most important cart in my shop. It has all my artwork stuff on it. This thing of paper right here, you don't want to know how much this costs. It's absurd, it's a ton of money. I paid, well, whatever it weighs at the bins, this is probably two pounds. So three or four bucks at the bins and not the absorbent of prices online. And there's nothing that I've ever printed and sold. And I've printed and sold a lot of cool stuff, clocks, artwork. It's all from the bins. And then the ink cartridges in this printer, I sort of, I, I take ink cartridges I find at the bins, basically soak them into containers and then pour those inks in my cartridges, I don't spend anything on ink. So you gotta go to the bins, guys. That's all I'm really getting at here. That printer paper is wildly invaluable to me because I do not want to spend, like those business card things, probably $20 a pop. I don't have to spend that now because I brought it home from the bins. I think that's everything that we got, at least everything important. There's some Beyblade stuff here I don't even understand. They're magnets, probably for Beyblade arenas. I still gotta look that up. And uh, I did bring home a couple boxes just for shipping. But I want you guys to comment below and let me know what your favorite thing that I brought back from the bins was. Uh, was it the artwork? Because that's for sure what it is for me. I'd say favorite thing I brought back, most useful thing I brought back, paper. I wanna know what you guys think. And then hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on because a lot more videos like this coming up, a lot more uh, adventures that we haven't done on this channel. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up. And if you're not subscribed with the notifications on, you won't know when that happens. So till next time, peace out.